everyone and welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Today we're going to be making a double layered burfi or fudge. Um, since um, Ramadan is almost coming to an end and we're looking forward to Eid, this is going to be my Eid special for all of you out there. would like to wish all of you, um, all your family, um, families um, Eid Mubarak. And so this is a um, a recipe that I've been making for almost over 20 years now and I've had so many people every time I make it every Eid I make it I have so many people asking me about the uh, the recipe so I thought let me make a video so everybody can benefit from that so if you as you can see over here I've already made two types of burfis here I've got ones that have the vanilla on the bottom and then the chocolate on top and then if you look over here I've got the opposite where the chocolate's on the bottom and the vanilla's on top. So either way you make it, this is by far the best recipe ever and they're extremely tasty, so really, really good. Let's get started. For this, we're gonna need six cups of um, powder milk and I wanted to show you what kind of powder milk I used. Now, um, this is the non-fat instant dry milk and that's what you're looking for um, every store has their own brand carnation makes it um, so many different um, companies make it they also make their own um, so for example if rainbow has it then they sell the roundies brand or something like that they make their own brand so you might have to adjust a little bit with the amount of moisture and stuff in there i'm going to be making this in the oven uh, for about seven minutes intervals of one minute don't rush it and do two minutes because you're gonna spoil it it's not gonna work I've tried it my microwave is 900 watts um, you'll just have to kind of see how it goes so for six cups of the instant non-fat dry milk we're gonna go ahead and add about half a teaspoon of cardamom powder and this is fresh cardamom powder that I crush at home and you open up the bottle and it smells amazing. Gonna give that a little stir. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a pinch of salt. And the salt just really enhances the flavor in this burfi, just really balances out the flavors. So then we're gonna go ahead and add 3 4 cup of powdered sugar. Okay, we're gonna give that another good mix. Okay. okay, then we're going to go ahead and add two cups of heavy whipping cream to that. Okay. Now you want to make sure you give it a really good stir. Make sure that all the ingredients are combined really really well now when you do the sides make sure you get to the bottom of the middle of the pan too because sometimes it's easy to leave the the uh, dry milk on the bottom okay so I've got this all mixed up this is going to go into the microwave and while that's in the microwave let me just go ahead and show you what else we're gonna need we're gonna be using four tablespoons of Hershey's unsweetened coconut, um, cocoa powder. And then to that, we're gonna be using one cup of Ghirardelli chocolate, which is 60% cocoa. Now, if you, I like the bitter taste. If you don't like to make it very bitter, you could use the semi-sweet chocolate. But if you use the semi-sweet chocolate, you're not gonna get the real deep brown um, burfi color that you have here. The only thing that separates my burfis from everybody else is the Giardelli that I use in there or not even the Giardelli but just because it's got the 60% of cocoa in there. So I'm going to go ahead put this in the microwave. When we come back I'm going to tell you exactly how long it took in the microwave and then we'll do the second step together. So it took about <clears throat> six minutes total and you're gonna know when it's done, when you know when you stir it, and it's just gonna start leaving the sides of the pan, um, and it's gonna it's thicker, 
and also when you put your spatula in it just comes out like clean it doesn't stick to the spatula so now what we're going to do is go ahead and add oh you know what i forgot to get my plate my plate here and I'm quickly going to go ahead and add a little bit of ghee to the bottom of the pan just like that you, you don't do too much I mean it's just just until so you know that it's gonna come out nicely okay then what we're gonna do is, we could either do where it's got the chocolate layer on the bottom and bottom and the vanilla on top, or either or. So let's go ahead and do the vanilla on the bottom. Okay, so see how it's leaving the spatula and it's coming out clean? That's how you want it, okay? So you're gonna put enough mixture on the bottom to just cover the whole bottom. And there is going to be um, a good amount left for the top, so. Okay. Okay. Just like so. Just make sure that you've got a good um, thick layer on the bottom. Not very thick, but just enough that, you know, it doesn't look weird because of the smaller or, or thinner layer on the bottom. Okay? And if it sticks, just use your fingers or your hand. Okay? That's good enough. Now we're going to take... Our chocolate chips and I've already measured this it's about one cup I'm just gonna mix this really well inside okay. now if the mixture gets too thick for you go ahead and add a little bit of whipping cream in it it doesn't you know it's okay it's just you just want enough to spread it's easy to spread on top of the vanilla then we're going to go ahead and add the four tablespoons of unsweetened coconut or cocoa powder I don't know why I say coconut every time I think I'm craving coconut water that's why but, so it's four tablespoons unsweetened cocoa powder. And I've used all sorts. I like the Hershey's. Um, so it's up to you. I'm just going to mix this really well. You want to do a taste test at this point because you want to make sure that you've got just the right amount of cocoa in there. Um, and it tastes just right. Mm, so good. Okay. okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna be adding little bits like that. So, you know, this is gonna um, make sure that it really coats really well. Okay. And if you, that's why if you have the remaining, just keep some on hand. So if you need to add, so then you have some to add on. And by putting it in blotches or by putting it, um, by um, keeping like one tablespoon a little here and there, that really helps 
spread because if you put like a whole blob in the middle then it just doesn't spread as well on the vanilla and then you end up with a swirled burfi and I don't like the swirled burfi I don't like the look of it but if you guys want to try that you can go ahead and try that um, I think just the two colors looks awesome So see how, did you see the color of this burfi? This is, this is what separates my burfi from everybody else's, really. It's just the really dark color, um, the cocoa flavor, not too sweet. And every year, you know, I think I just, I make this once a year in Eid only. I don't make it any other time. And basically during this time, it just reminds me how, wonderful wonderful this burfi turns out so see when you have those little bit left in the bowl see how you can just see wherever you have a thinner layer so you just end up with you know a thicker thicker layer and the thing is you don't really have to work like a speedy gonzalez because it takes a while for this to cool down so it gives you that time to kind of work and play with it and then best thing is to just use your hands and pat it down. I'm gonna wait half an hour before I go ahead and make my pieces. And then, like I've always said, for any of the mitais, I use a plastic spoon. The disposable plastic spoon works really, really well. And you can cut it in the desired um, pieces that you like. You could do, um, and by the way, I'm saving these because um, my daughter loves chocolate. So I'm just gonna make some tiny little chocolate for her so um so then you can cut them in either the diamond or square pieces just like this so this was a very quick tutorial of how we how to make um double layered burfi um thank you so much for joining me on this episode of rahana's cuisines hope i can see you here next time with another great video thank you so much and I want to wish you and your family a very, very big Eid Mubarak from me and my family. Take care. Till next time.